Let's see you here. Back in Libre. What's this? Design expert. Nice. Hello everybody, welcome back to your weekday weekend. My name is Adam, and I'm back with another Alibre CAD video. As you might have seen, I'm on Expert now, which is fantastic. Now, full transparency, I have to thank Alibre LLC for this, as Joseph reached out and said, Hey, listen, thank you for making your video. Here's a copy of Alibre. So I really, really have to thank Alibre for this. They are the ones who have upgraded me to Expert. Again, I can't thank them enough. Um, hopefully I'll be able to use it to its full potential. I'm still learning, but together we're going to improve and get better and utilize a Libre Design Expert to its fullest potential. Today, we are going to be looking at their training exercise models. Um, they're a little bit older. I don't know if they even really still do anything with them, but on a Libre's website, are um, the Alibre exercises. So we're gonna be looking at the first one today. Here's the first one. Um, I'm not used to looking at CAD drawings, so I'm a little out of my league here, but I think I'll be okay. We're gonna work through it, just like my other CAD tutorials. I'm not gonna cut anything out once I start designing, or we're just gonna see how it goes. So without further ado, let's get into Alibre. All right, not really sure what orientation this part is best suited for. I suppose we're just gonna do it in the way it shows on the photo. We're gonna activate a 2D sketch and go to XY plane, circle ourselves to it. We can hide the plane. I'm gonna do a uh, center rectangle uh, right on the origin. Dimension that. Uh, we need 60 there. And it looks like Hmm. Now the best way to do this extra bit there. Hmm. I think the best way to do this extra piece might actually just be to add it on. So we're just going to do uh, 72 there. Um, what's missing? Oh, duh. Okay. Uh, deactivate sketch. Let's extrude. Um, this is meant to be, uh, 24 minus 13. I think that's just 11. I do believe this piece here, I think. Oh, you know what? Let's, let's start over. Let's hang on. Let's start over. Let's, let's do this even better. Ready? Okay. You ready for this? You ready for this? You all ready for this? Um, where should I put the origin at? I guess we're just gonna do it here. Um, boink. 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 And then these two, I need to be um, collinear. And then these three can all be equal. And then um, that's 13. That is 24. Um, these ones can be collinear. No. These ones can be collinear. No. Why is it not doing that? These 
There we go. Okay. Um, the distance between that and that is 37. Um, these two need to be equal. Um, and then the full length is 72. Why do we have a line there? Why do we have a line there? Okay. Um, I thought for sure I just, did I undo that by mistake? There we go. Maybe I forgot to do it. Either way, I believe that's correct. Let's double check our work. 24 there, 13 there, 12 there, 37, no. 37 there. That looks right. That's why you double check. Um, should be 23 here. Yes. Don't know why that's upside down. Um, cool. And then deactivate and we're going to extrude, um, uh, let's keep the origin in the center. Let's do mid plane extrude. I watched the video for, for this like a million years ago. Um, so I do remember how they did it. Now 60, is that total? Yes it is, okay. Cool, so that's what I want. That's the first part of my part. Does that make sense? Okay, let's um, make this like, I don't even know what to call it. This like handcuff looking bit here on the back. Let's go ahead and do that. Let's um, view my planes. Let's make a new sketch on the XY plane. Let's do that. Let's use that maintain association let's hide the planes again and then um okay uh so this is the part where i'm a little i lost here oopsie I want a tangent arc. And I want that. I think I'm going to try to um, mirror this whole bit, I think. So this inner circle, 18. And this one is a radius of 18. Um, and then, yeah, let's make that and that vertical. And then, um, Let's do, see that this is just supposed to be an exercise. This is like a challenge for me because I'm still learning, so, but we'll be okay. Um, I need a line in line with this one there. That's what I need basically. Um, 12. Okay, and then I think I need that, but then I need Okay, then I need a sketch fillet uh, Radius of 
five, I think. I think that's right. It looks right enough. It says two X five. I'm guessing that means the other one is five as well. I, again, I don't have any training on sketch figures, so I'm just assuming. Um, okay, let's view our planes. Um, ooh, this is potentially going to be an issue. I screwed up here. I should have, okay, because I made that not on the origin, I should have done like the origin down there. Um, hang on. Let's see if we can fix this. Let's make a new plane. Um, no offset. Really, I guess I could technically sketch on that surface, but I might need this plane again, maybe. I don't know. We'll see, I guess. Um, this sketch edit. Can I change what plane? I put this on? No, maybe. Um, let's do a sketch on this plane. Let's project sketch three. Maintain association, make sketch figure. There we go. Much better. Much better, much better, much better. Okay. And now I take all of this and I mirror it uh, along that um, axis. Cool, I believe that's what I want. And now I need it to be 36, so extrude, oopsie. Um, reverse, 36, reverse, okay, there we go, we're starting to look right, um, yeah, I really should have just used that, honestly, but I think we're okay, um, let's go ahead and make this little, like, tray looking bit here, um, this, this piece, um, Again, that is also going to be, well, actually, I don't think that'll, I don't think that'll be all that difficult. Um, if I activate a sketch there, and I um, use Um, actually, cancel. I want to project um, that, 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 yeah, as a sketch figure, maintain association, but then I also want to project that and that. Oh, oopsie. I need to also project that as a sketch figure. Okay, now I need to do that, and I want to do that as a ref. No, I'm gonna droop. Mm, let's just do the reference figure. Can't hurt to have the reference figure there. Um, let's do a line. Um, okay, and then let's do an arc there, and an arc, shit, there. I think that's us covered. We didn't really need these sketch figures, or these um, reference figures, but that's okay. 
extrude. We need to reverse again. We need it to be 12. That looks right to me. Okay, we're actually almost done, guys. Believe it or not. Um, we need this triangle piece here. Um, on this side. This looks like a key, almost. Um, what would be the best way to do this? Also, how tall is... Okay. I'd say... It's to sketch on that. I don't know why it insists on being that way around. Oh well. It's to use that edge and that edge as uh, sketch figures. And then just do a line like that. And then extrude. Keep having to reverse it, I don't know why. Uh, 12, which is correct. Okay, now we have that bit. Now we just need this little hole right here. Um, which, activate 2D sketch on that. And then I believe I have a tool for this somewhere. Ah, brown, yes. Um, I need the Okay, I've never used this menu before, so um, I don't know what this means. Um, so, hmm, radius of eight, so. Uh, Y actually needs to be 16, and then the length there will be the radius 8 plus, well, 16, yeah, 16 plus, so 25, I think. No? no? Oh. 25. I think that's right. I think that's what I want. I think that's what I want. Put it there. Apply. Okay. But I don't... Hang on. I think I need one more. I think I need to do this differently. Um... Hmm. I don't really like because it doesn't give me a um Hmm. I think I'm going to make this manually. I think I'm going to make this manually. Yeah. Okay. We're going to make this manually. Oopsie. Uh, that is 25, and then that length is 9, and then that length is 22, okay, and then with a radius of 8, of eight I need a arc. Um, and then another arc. Um, I think those automatically made vertical. Yes, they did. Okay. And then I need a line there. And a line there. And I think... That doesn't... That looks too close. 25... I guess it 
I guess it's right because that is 25 to the center of that guy. It's gonna be nine. That's nine. That's eight. It looks like it's too f too close to the center, but I think no, no, that is right. Okay, cool. Um, let's extrude a hole then. Um, let's do uh two geometry that one. Um, people, I usually I used to like to do um through all, but I like doing two geometry because then it's more parametric. If I make this wider, then it will follow to that one either way. Okay, I think that's our part. I think that look that looks right. Um. Yeah, I think that's our part, guys. That is our finished part. Um, that was a small challenge. It wasn't anything I couldn't handle, but it was still a challenge nonetheless. Um. I think yeah. Well, guys, thank you so much for watching. I will be back with the next one in a little while. Um, until then, thank you guys so much for spending your day with me. Uh, remember to check out my website, weekdayweekend.net. Join the Discord. I'm going to have a link for that below. For whatever reason, I haven't been putting my Discord link in the uh, YouTube description. So if you want to join my Discord, go down below. Um, there's a lot more gaming stuff down there, but if you're a CAD fan, maybe I'll make a, a CAD channel or two, I guess. Again, thank you so much to Alibre for giving me a license to a Libre Design Expert. Again, I'm not sponsored by Libre, but if you would like to show your thanks to them, then uh, alibre.com is where you can pick up um, your copy of a Libre. Um, my video about why I love a Libre will be up in that corner. Um, remember guys, it's a one-time cost for a lifetime license. That's my biggest thing, as it works the exact same as any other CAD software I would be using. And the cheapest option is 200 bucks, guys. Like, that's a steal for CAD software, especially for a lifetime license. So again, uh, thank you so much, everyone, for watching. Thank you, Alibre, for the expert license. Um, I'll see you guys next time, next weekend. Bye!